so I wanted to to just say that like I am um, my mind is shh, like completely blown right now completely blown right now I know we're only a few whatever episode YouTube channel things we say. I don't know. I'm not hip to the lingo. I'm barely hip to the technology. Um, seriously, I went to school for broadcasting, telecommunications, and mass media. And it has been, excuse me, 100 years since I've edited videos and stuff. And I'm not doing much editing. Like, I'm just trying to talk to y'all. I said, y'all, I'm just trying to talk. So to all of my one fan out there, thank you. <laughs> no, seriously. No, all, all kidding aside, like my, my mind is completely blown right now. When I started this, I had been wanting to have a YouTube channel. I mean, I started a YouTube channel called The Global Soul many, many, many moons ago. Many moons ago predates my son. And... um it was an experiment. I had sold all um, everything I owned in three yard sales and went walkabout, went back to Ireland, and then I ended up going to seven countries in two months before settling back in Ireland. And I had asked, I, I never finished it, of course, um, holy imposter syndrome, right? But also, <laughs> I ended up pregnant. Um, but that's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. But... I traveled the world asking people one question. If you could say anything to anyone right now, what would it be? And no matter, you know, the walks of life, where they came from. Now, this was back in 2009 before all of this, you know, kind of conversation started. You know what I mean? And so I really wish, like, I'll have to see if I can dig up the old um, footage and see what I have strung together and I'll share it. But I've always wanted to have... A YouTube channel. When we moved to Costa Rica, I was always doing videoing and hoping we could turn it like his last name is Platanos, my last name is Ayers. So if you put them together, they're players, right? And so I wanted to start like the International Players Club. Um, and of course, that never, you know, never came through because I was always angry and always frustrated and da 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 and always pouring from an empty goddamn cup, you know, living with a narcissist is fucking exhausting there are no two ways about that no two ways however i have decided that i am so sick and tired of being so sick and tired that i need to do something to change my life i can model a million and one things to my son but if i'm barely getting out of bed and I'm barely going through the motions or I'm pretending. That's not authentically modeling, you know, your big bodacious, succulent life. Sark looking at you. So then I contemplated, what am I going to do with this? And I'm like, you know what? Well, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And I see every day I'm on all of these pages, right? The, the backyard, like the chickens and the goats and the, the homesteading and preppers and survival groups and da-da-da-da-da. And I'm like, oh my God, look at these people in their pantries and their funny chickens and their adorable goats. And, you know, they're Emmanuel Todd Lopez's fist bump farms looking at you. Oh my God, squeeze that baby for me. I'm so glad he's pulled through that. Um, so I'm living vicariously through all of these people and I'm like, man, I got something to say. Like I should homestead. Too. Like I should, I should record what it's like to homestead. And I thought for sure it was just going to be another market flooded, you know, homesteading's really in right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Type of thing. And I still want it to be that. But I feel like once I started talking about the dynamic of being an empath, married to a narcissist, actively in a toxic marriage, actively working to heal, to tell a new truth, to tell a new story, to own a new narrative, right? It opened up this other, like I, I set out to do this one thing. And then 
I've been taking these videos and feeling insecure, like, is it too much? Is it not enough? Like, I just want to tell my truth. Like, I just, I, I'm not going to sit there and pretend that I am going to freaking can some freaking asparagus like it ain't no thing while my life, my real life, is in shambles. And I'm miserable on the inside, and I'm lonely, and I'm depressed, and I'm all of these things, right? Begging, crying, desiring happiness, and fun, and levity. So I decided that I would commit to myself that I would film whatever I wanted to. It's my channel. I can do whatever I want, right? Isn't that the whole goddamn point? And I started like tone policing myself. And then I started saying, oh, no, you can't do that. Or, oh, mm. but those weren't my voices. Those weren't my voices. And, you know, one of the ways that I have survived this marriage, one of the ways that I have survived my life, one of the ways that I have survived um, this pandemic is just doing a swan dive um, into RuPaul's Drag Race. And I'm telling you right now, drag queens saved my life. Drag is not a crime. And those pure artists, performers, I mean, they are so inspiring. And I just, the art, it's just mind blowing. At any rate, RuPaul has been talking to me for five years about inner saboteurs. And my inner saboteur was telling me I'm not good enough. It's not going to work. Da, 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 da. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say this. Oh, no, no, no. So I'm clutching my own pearls before I even have a chance to get a word out edgewise, right? And then I'm like, all right, what's it going to be? I need to kind of look for a sign. Let me just look for a sign. Am I on the right track? Am I being too vulnerable? Am I being too much? Am I being too extra? But even though extra is my jam... Right. So I came across this and I will post it uh, because it's not mine. Um, and I'm even trying to get sued on like my fifth episode or whatever these are called. Right. But Alex L. Just a random meme. And I can't even remember what page it was from, <laughs> which might be a problem. I don't know. But it says you're not a victim for showing. Oh, wait, hang on. It says you're not a victim for sharing your story. You are a survivor setting the world on fire with your truth. And you never know who needs your light, your warmth, and raging courage. And I was like, well, damn. Okay, because maybe one of the things, I mean, everybody talks about narcissists and narcissistic surviving and all of this shit, right? But what about empowerment, you know, through all of that and not allowing narcissism to be what defines your life. You know, one of the things that I had been talking about for so long, you know, I'm deciding to leave or stay. Why are those my only choices? Why are my only choices to stay and be invisible and be abused or throw a grenade into my life and not knowing what's going to happen? What else? I'm going, whatever, whatever hellfire and brimstone is going to befall my life because I dared divorce a narcissist. Why are those my only two choices? Why? Why? To stay or to leave? No. So I had decided my choice. It's not, you know, yes, my choice is to make my choices. That's my choice. My choice is to empower myself. My choice is to not live my entire life through the lens of a wife, through the lens of mother. Those are aspects of my life. But for far too long, that is all there's been. And I have poured from an empty cup. Not that I don't love my husband, not that I don't love my son, but I have lost myself along the way. A hundred percent full stop. And so the interesting thing is now, mind blown number two. I started, I told you, I started taking this, take control. Mel, Mel Robbins, take control. 
three-part training. It's free. Find the link. It's somewhere in there once I figure out technology. I don't know. Look down there is probably where it's going to be. Okay? Look, I'm analog. <laughs> it's amazing I even know how to press play on this. So, at any rate, there's not more boundaries. That, you know, of course, there's more boundaries. But it's it's more of doing what's meaningful and talking to you is meaningful to me. I have been so lonely and so isolated with so much to say and working so hard on myself, but not really knowing I'm a box jumper. And I, like I'm telling you, rip these damn band-aids off, rip them off, rip them off. You're not going to bleed out. You're not going to bleed out. You're going to scab over. You're going to be fine. And eventually it's going to itch. You're going to pick it off and you'll move on. You know, there might be a little scar there. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And it's going to be what it's going to be, right? But the coolest damn thing, right? Because I have been paralyzed, paralyzed with the spotlight effect, pouring from an empty cup, focusing on the miserable, the negative. And what did I do this morning? In just that other episode, what did I do? Drinking my Vag Tornado tea. It's nice and blue, right? It's nice and blue. Get this. Second, tell me I'm not on the right track. Tell me there's not synchronicities here. Check it out. So Mel Robbins has this thing, which I encourage you, like I don't want to spoil it too much. I was actually going to record it and play it for you, but I don't know if that's some kind of like copyright thing. Again, not trying to get my ass sued. But at about 1627 right? She talks about this blue water effect. Once I identify that where we're headed is we... She talks about this blue water effect. There is, what color do we want our water? She did this thing where there's like this super muddy ick water. Pestilence, flakes, darkness, right? And so she's pouring this blue water Poor, 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 poor. And so obviously the punchline is the more positive you add in, the the muck and the mire gets washed out and you're able to be happy and have that lightness and that brilliant light force that's your freaking birthright. Hello, can I get an amen? So how amazing is it that this morning... I literally started drinking blue water. I started freaking drinking it. And I am going to clear all that muck, all of that spotlight, all of that stuff that I've allowed to become stagnant and toxic and growing roots, choking my life off from myself. You know, my narcissist doesn't help. But it's taken me five years, taken me five years to say, hold the phone. I wonder if I have something to do with this. And I always knew that, like, I lacked boundaries and, you know, I needed to do some work on myself. And I understood that. But this shit's getting exciting. This shit's getting really, really, really exciting. Like... You know, already the conversation started, I was up, you know, already strife and blah, 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 right? But I have a choice. I have a choice with what I can do with that. I don't have to react. I don't have to allow that to become my reality. The only access that I have to a narrative about my life be fil filtered through the lens of narcissistic abuse. I don't have to do that. And I'm going to level up. That's what this is about. That is what this is about. I am going to level up. And I'm going to hope that with raging courage and unrelenting truth, I am going to encourage, like the great Mel Robbins, like the great Brene Brown, like the great Anne Lamott. I am going to speak my truth in my own way and hope that I can encourage you 
all of my one fan to come on this journey with me and you level up too. So I am so inspired. I am so excited. All I've got to figure out now is how to get this from my phone to the YouTube channel. <laughs> but I'm going to get there. It is Vag Tornado merch coming at you. It is in the works. It's already happening. All of the tea, none of the shade. Don't let the smooth taste fool you.